Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to cover the anatomy of the sublingual gland. We have already covered the two major salivary gland that is parotid gland and the submandibular gland. So watch this video till the end. Now the sublingual gland is among the two uh, major salivary gland that are located in the floor of the mouth. Another salivary gland that is a parotid gland, it is located in front of the external ear. So the sublingual gland is the smallest of among the three major salivary gland. The largest is the parotid gland followed by submandibular and the smallest is the sublingual gland. The secretion of the sublingual gland, it is basically mucus secretion. Where the gland is located, the upper surface of the gland, it is directly under the lining mucosa of the floor of the mouth. And it is marked by a raised area known as sublingual fold, as you can see in this picture. The gland rests on the mylohyoid muscle, so the gland is located just above the mylohyoid muscle and the upper surface, as I already mentioned, it is covered by lining mucosa. Now the excretory duct of the sublingual gland. The gland, it usually opens on the surface of the sublingual fold, about 15 small ducts, as you can see in this picture. The series of small ducts are known as ducts of ravenous. Sometimes a single large duct is there in the sublingual gland and we call it as Bartholin duct. The blood and the nerve supply, the blood supply is through the sublingual branch of the lingual artery, while the venous drainage is through the sublingual vein. The, the parasympathetic supply is through the spatial nerve by its quadratempinae branch. So this is a very brief lecture about the sublingual gland. Do give us your feedback in the comments and thank you. Stay blessed.